What's up everybody, I'm Vincent and today I want to talk about how to evaluate a geometric series. So we have the formula that we're going to use and we have the steps. And it's very important to know that for all of these questions, the only time you're allowed to use this formula is when the common ratio for the geometric series is a number between negative 1 and 1. So some examples here that are fair game would be if I had a common ratio of a half if each term was simply one half of the term before it then this would be a series that I could calculate what is the sum like what does this series converge to when I add up all the terms so in this situation here it's definitely fair game uh, a situation that would not work would be let's say I started at one but then my common ratio was two so in a situation like this the term before would be multiplied by two to get to the next term and this would be something where I couldn't use the formula because this would just go off to infinity. Okay, so let's get started with the first question here. Now, we have a few terms here, and this sum is starting at k equals 0 and going to infinity. So this is a situation where we could use this formula. And the steps are to expand uh, and write out the first few terms. And notice we can use the formula here because our common ratio is negative 1 over pi, which is a number between negative 1 and 1. So if we write out the first few terms, at k equals 0, we would have negative 1 to the 0 is 1, divided by pi to the 0 is 1. So we would just have the 3 here. But then the next term, we would have plus negative 1 to the first power, which is just negative 1, over pi to the first power. And notice our 3 is still going to be tagging along here. The 3 is still going to be part of it, because this constant just gets multiplied by all the terms in the sum. And then if we continue plus 3 times we would have negative 1 squared over pi squared and if we want we could even write the terms like this we could say plus and write negative 1 over pi as a single term and then this continues on so once we get a sense of what's going on here for the first few terms the next thing we want to do is let a equal the first term so in this situation here we're gonna have a is equal to 3. But then the common ratio, what is our r value? What is being multiplied each time to get to the next term? Well, all we're doing is multiplying each term by negative 1 over pi, and that brings us to the next term, uh, so on down the series. So that gives us an r value of negative 1 over pi. So then to calculate the sum, the summation from k equals 0 to infinity of 3 times and once again, I could just write it like this. I could just say negative 1 over pi to the k. That's equivalent. And it's a little bit cleaner looking, too. Is equal to, and now just use the formula. We have the a term is 3 divided by 1 minus r. And notice r is negative, so we're going to switch this to addition. We're going to have 1 minus negative 1 over pi changes to uh, 1 plus 1 over pi. So we work this out a little bit. This part here is just pi over pi plus 1 over pi. So then we'll continue over here. We have 3 over pi plus 1 over pi. And then now we could rearrange this to 3 times pi over pi plus 1, giving us a final answer of 3 pi over pi plus 1. Okay, so this is our solution to the first question. Okay, for the second question here, we're going to use the same steps. And sometimes this will throw people off that notice this time we're starting at k equals 1, not k equals 0. But I promise you, as long as you follow these steps here, you'll be okay with evaluating a geometric series. And notice before we move on, we are allowed to use this formula because negative 2 thirds is a number that when I substitute it in here, the absolute value of negative 2 thirds is 2 thirds, which is less than 1. So what we want to do is just write out the first few terms. We have negative two thirds to the zero, I'm sorry, we have negative two thirds to the first power. See, that's something to be careful of. We're starting at one. And then we have plus negative two thirds to the second power, and this continues on and on. So what we need to do is we're going to let a equal the first term. So in this case, the first term is just negative two thirds. But then our r value we want to ask, what is our common ratio? What are we multiplying by each time to get to the next term? 
And in this case, we're just multiplying by negative two thirds each time. So our a value and our r value are exactly the same. But now all we got to do to work this out, to find out, uh, to evaluate this series here, we're just going to plug into the formula. So we write out the original question. And this is equal to a, which is negative two thirds divided by one minus negative two thirds, which will change to one plus two thirds. So if we just uh, do the arithmetic here, we've got negative two thirds over, and this is three over three plus two over three, which is five over three. So then simplify. And this one here works out to negative two over five. Okay, for the last question here, we have negative 0.15 to the k power, the sum from two to infinity. So once again, we're starting at a value that's not zero, but as long as we follow these steps here, we're gonna be okay. And notice this series does fit the description of a time we can use the formula. The absolute value of negative 0.15 is 0.15, which is less than one. So we'll start out by expanding the first few terms. We have negative 0.15 to the second power, because we're starting at k equals two. And then we've got plus negative 0.15 to the third. And this goes on and on to infinity. So then what we're going to do is we're going to identify the first term. And in this case, the first term, our a value, is negative 0.15 squared. But then our r value, each time we're multiplying by negative 0.15. So all we have to do now is plug into the formula and we'll get our result. So we've got negative 0.15 squared divided by one minus negative 0.15, which will change to one plus 0.15. So now all we have to do is just simplify. Now at this point we could use a calculator or you could just rearrange the decimals so that you could simplify it by hand. And then from here I would just divide the top and bottom by 25. Okay, so our final answer to the last question is nine over 460. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on evaluating geometric series. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It'll really help me grow this channel. And if you've got any requests, topics that you want me to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. And thank you for watching.